Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our GA4 series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. In today's lecture, you will see how to track button click and make this as an event in GA4. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll be using this website for setting up button click. I'll basically track this button click called shop now. So whenever a user click on this button, I want to track this as a GA4 event, you know. So I have set up a Google Tag Manager account with this website name, you can see over here. And I have also set up a Google Analytics 4 property for this website. And additionally, I have created a tag called GA4 base tag and I have put the measurement ID over here. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to create a base tag for Google Analytics 4 and put a measurement ID over here and uh, make this trigger as all pages. Okay, perfect. Then we'll go to the variable section. We'll enable some built-in variables. So in the built-in variable section, we have an option called configure. So I'm going to click on it. And if I scroll down a little bit, inside clicks, we have... Uh, some of the built-in variables so I'll enable all of them so I'm gonna enable click element click classes click ID click target click URL and click text okay then I'll go to the trigger section I'll create a trigger for all elements so I'm gonna choose trigger configuration as all elements and I'm gonna click on save and I'll name it as all elements okay perfect then I'm gonna go to the preview section. I need to put my website URL over here. Okay, then I'm gonna click on connect. Perfect. Then if I click this button called shop now, then let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on shop now. Then you can see a click event is firing. So I'm gonna go to the click and I'll choose variables from here. So you can see we have click classes, we have click elements, we have click text. So we can set up our button click using either click classes or click text, okay? So before making uh, those uh, elements or those classes or those text as button click trigger uh, make sure uh, those are unique you know so you need to find an unique identifier so for checking whether this class or this text is uh, a unique or not you need to check it you need to verify it you know because i need to uh, track this shop now button you might have shop now button all over the pages but for the time being you don't need to track all of them so you need to track this one so for checking whether uh, this is unique or not i'm going to click on right button and i'll go to the inspect section and from the console section i'm going to delete everything then i'll write document dot query selector all okay so query selector all then i'm gonna put first parenthesis and i'm gonna end first parenthesis and i'll give single quotation okay and i'll end single quotation then i'm gonna put a dot okay then i'll go to the tag assistant so you can either copy this one or you can copy this uh, click text so for the time being i'm gonna use this shop now so i'll go there and paste it after dot so i'm gonna click on enter so you can see we have an option called node list so you can see its length is zero that means it is an unique identifier that means this shop now is uh, available in this space for one time so we can use it so if I go to the all elements section, then I'll modify the trigger, you know, and I'm gonna choose click all elements. So instead of using all clicks, I'm gonna choose some clicks. And from here, I'm gonna choose click text. You can either 
yeah, use equals or contents. So for the time being, I'm going to use equals and we'll copy this exact shop now. Okay. So I'll go to the tag assistant and copy this shop now from here and go to the element section and I'm going to paste the exact value over here and I'll name it as shop now button link okay perfect i'm gonna click on save then we'll go to the tag section because i want to create an event with uh, those button with this button actually so i'll click on new and i'm gonna name the tag as ga4 shop now button click okay perfect i'm gonna choose tag configuration as this one google analytics ga4 event then i'll choose measurement id from here so ga4 base tag okay then i'll name the event as shop underscore now underscore button click okay so you can name it as for your requirements so i'm gonna go to the triggering section and click this shop now button click and choose this one as a trigger so i'll click on save then if i go to the preview section again for checking whether it is working or not okay so i need to put my website url over here then i'm gonna click on connect then if i click on shop now then a event shop now button click should be fired okay so i'm gonna click on shop now let's see go to the tag assistant so you can see over here ga4 shop now button click is firing so let's see uh, from ga4 dashboard whether this event is firing uh, on ga4 or not so i'm gonna go to the analytics and i'm gonna click on admin So if I scroll down a little bit, I'll see an option called debug view. Then you'll be able to see the events there. Okay. You can see over here, shop now button click is firing over here. Okay. So everything is working fine. Okay. So hopefully you have understood the all, all of those things that how we can track a uh, button click and track this as an event in GA4 yeah hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page yeah, have a good day bye bye